welcome to today's episode of Beta Feminist Podcast, which views feminism from the African woman's perspective. My name is Chine Weke. I'm the co-host, and this is IJ, the OG host. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and today, what are we going to talk about? Hmm. Today, we're going to talk about incels. I'm sure you guys have heard that word hmm. before. The rise of inceldom. Inceldom is the kingdom of incels. So first of all, incels, for, for those that don't know, means involuntary celibates. So it's a name men coined for themselves because they can't get laid. So they, they feel that, you know, women should reward them with, you know, sex. Here pussy, here pussy, here pussy. Here, here. <laughs> Salaka pussy. Salaka Hello, you man. Come and take. Ah, you. Come and take. I, I want to point out that actually it was a woman that coined the term yeah. and movement of incels. She was a virgin who couldn't, you know, do well in relationships. So it was meant to be just a community for like-minded women who are not doing well in romantic relationships mm-hmm. to provide support for each other. But you know the way men are. They, of course, they come in and they do what take over. Men hijack. found like this hijack is like I don't know. You know what happened with the World Trade Center mm-hmm. that level hijacking? That's, that's the hijack. Taliban hijack. I mean Al Qaeda. That's what they did and turned this movement upside down. Upside down. Like right now, in cells in some countries, they are they are linked to domestic terrorism. Yeah, yeah. That is how bad. That's how bad they are. That's are. that's one of like that's the. OG level of yeah, misogyny it's, right now. Exactly. So they, they you know, and there's there's some I think that back when I was in the uni, one of my friends then was telling me about do I know something about it? Mm-hmm. And I said reading, I found that there are men who are proud who come out and say yes because oh, yeah. women they they, they, they were with women and women wouldn't put out mm-hmm. so because of that they now identify as, as incels. Yeah. They're very proud of it. That proud that and it the motive is even stupid because women won't sleep with you so you decided to band up with other with other men that lack sex instead of buying it or doing what we, we women we stay without sex for years and nobody here but like why is there a movement in the first place so that is how that movement was created, and it's still going strong and stronger and it's now a breeding ground for the vilest form of misogyny like like it's insane. insane. If, if 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 you find yourself within the walls of insult platforms, you understand that listen, being a woman is just it's, it's like being uh, an endangered species. Yeah. I know men like to say, "Oh man, I'm endangered." I like no, you don't know what that is about. You, women are not even feminist and misandrist. In fact, that's the thing. That's the difference between men and women. When women don't like men. They go away. Mm-hmm. They remove themselves from I men. They do not. Time. Yeah, they do not seek out men. They do not seek out to hurt men. They just like remove men from their life. No men know. Now, incels obviously can't have sex. Maybe they, they don't have sexual. And another thing is, it's crazy that society is built upon the idea that men are entitled to yeah, men's the, bodies. The entitlement because that. that entitlement is what is breeding this whole thing mm-hmm. you are not nobody owes you sex sex is not a fundamental human right it is not as far as i'm concerned romantic love not is just not as a far as you are concerned right. it is a fact it is a you fact get, like human rights water food shelter you know, da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. sex, sex is not because sex involves another person's body you you can't legislate on another person's body no. it's literally not your business People just have to let you in if they find you attractive and or they, if want, they to, want to. If they want to. So the the whole idea that there, there is a group of men who are so bitter about not having access to the vagina. Because that's basically what it is. Because it's not like they like women no. or they want the companionship no. of women. They just want to have sex with you. Now and you see you see men go like when I I, I one time when I watched uh, the one in self video, they're like, oh, I took her out on a date. I was so nice to her and that uh, every time I'm nice to women, I don't have sex. And I'm like, do you think sex is a reward? Men, do women give you for being nice? Uh, like, you think you're being a nice person because, you know, it, it predicates on you having sex. Sex. You know, it's like what when Christian be like, well, I, I'm trying to be nice, I can go to he- a heaven. Yes. So if, they, if, if that heaven does not no exist, day there, you, you wouldn't, go, you'll be killing everybody. So that is it. It makes you wonder, these men that are, 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 are they being nice just because of 
because they feel they are entitled to sex and because they don't get that sex they are not like ah because of that i'm not an incel uh -huh. and then i start terrorizing women. women like these people are insane like i think it's just like in america every time there is a you know america that place is crazy because every day somebody is shooting somebody mm -hmm. with their stupid gun laws mm -hmm. every time you hear if like maybe school shooting mall shooting and some background on the shooter is shown most of them are usually incels. incels yeah and funny enough Crazy. a man can be because now the, the word incel has become so broad to cover a lot of the misogyny that men perpetrate so sometimes it's not just men who can't have sex sometimes it's men who are socially awkward mm -hmm. so maybe they've had sex before but there's no more continued access to that sex mm -hmm. or to women mm -hmm. so most of them are just violent misogynists mm -hmm. at this point and i think uh, uh people people it, it's it concerns people because sometimes you see articles or uh, opinion pieces on things like new york times you know something that has a lot of reach and people are like oh my god how did this happen and i'm like what do you mean how did this happen it happened because we've been cuddling men for centuries mm -hmm. i mean the world is, is just a, a, a theater for worshipping and cuddling men's feelings and emotions and blah blah blah. I was, men, I was, I was even you? about to officially get to that. I wanted to ask you what brought about the rise of you know this insult because before it's something you have to hide your head in yeah about. to it's do not, mm -hmm. it's not something that you should be proud mm -hmm. of but of recent they are very bold yeah and, they, and the community is getting bigger so I wanted to ask and now you said it because we've been one of the reasons well, there are plenty yeah. of reasons one yeah. of the reasons is we've been cuddling men I can even in here in Nigeria, you see a, a, a man who no get sense, a man like a man who has serious mental issues. They will go and marry a wife for him and give him so that he will have somebody to fuck. We've cuddled men for centuries, for what is centuries, for millennia. millennia. So you see men that are obvious, men that should be checked into rehab, men that beat their wives to death, men that are, uh, for lack of a better word, imbeciles or retards. No, those are speak you mm -hmm. men that have serious mental health issues and they are so called as some men that sometimes are changed and after he got changed mm -hmm. and they will marry wife for that because no matter how bad you are as a man you deserve access to pussy yeah so when that is taking away and when now you are looking at yourself i'm a flesh man i'm not even sick yes i can have access to a pussy it breeds that yeah. violence that, that to men. yeah and also, I think another reason is the rise of the misandry culture, a um, misogynistic culture. Where yeah. we, have, we have people like Simon, Kerabi, Kevin, Simon or Kevin, Little or Kevin. What is that? Kevin name? Samuels. Kevin, Kevin. So I refuse to learn him. <laughs> uh, the one that died. We have people like uh, Andrew, Andrew Tate. We have a lot of stupid men that have access to microphones and India, and they will put it on and spew misogyny, spew misogyny, and it emboldens the other yeah remains yeah and they, you know when you it see, gives them a platform and a voice exactly they are allowed their resentment way for women. more platforms agitating and and breeding misogyny than there are for women yeah and one of the reasons this podcast was started yeah because for every one thousand microphones by men talking rubbish it's just like maybe one for women women don't we lack other we do actually. we lack other cities. so do. because of this because there are so many men speaking into microphones oh even on even on non-verbal platforms like, so places like facebook we have the alak i don't know ah, we have the this we have the, we have the pandemic. Them. we have the when you go to twitter uh, we have that. Shola. thank you uh, john dido <laughs> pathetic <laughs> when you go to ig you find them there is always a platform where for men, a man for to just talk rubbish yes whether with mic or with his fingers and this emboldens other men like that and even men that might not necessarily be full-blown incels when yeah. they see this, they're like mm, ah, mm. so does it mean as a woman is a man i deserve pussy yeah yeah and then they I'm buy into that, to pussy? That, that idea and then they you. buy into it so why go chase a woman why go interact with women touch grass be in a mutually beneficial relationship and see if the sex comes naturally when you can be an incel and then scream and say you demand it and rape women and be a terrorist to women. yeah and then another important reason why i think um inceldom has grown beyond what it used to be is that the world is changing i think because we are in it you know you're just going about your little daily life you don't realize that 
the culture society is rapidly evolving mm-hmm. and i always say that men are the least evolved of human of beings of course men don't like change men don't like to evolve women have evolved a lot maybe in nigeria we've not gotten there as much as other countries because i mean we are poor and under the moon. <laughs> but still <laughs> do you understand these things the way male female relationship dynamics especially in relation to autonomy women's autonomy women's rights marriage the way marriage is contracted things like that are drastically different from the way they used to be maybe 50 100 years ago Definitely. so i think the, the patriarchy is fighting back yeah violently and that is why in seldom has grown bigger and bigger. something that used to be on the fringe is now mainstream like i said new york times writes articles about themselves that is crazy we, we have topics about them on, on mainstream news mainstream media now it, it used to be that women had very limited choices when it comes to being with a man but now especially in western countries many women are opting to be single rather than mm-hmm. do anything with a man because i mean the, the benefits are not that mm-hmm. much so okay. women are making choices and because you know women can't work as much as men mm-hmm. make money even in the u.s i had women out buy houses mm-hmm. there's like more women owning houses than men so this is breeding resentment mm-hmm. in men this is not what the patriarchy promised, promised men. them yeah the patriarchy did not promise them women who would compete and outdo them and it's basically happened happening many women more women go to college now than men and i mean education is one of the easiest way to move up a, a class mm-hmm. a social class or economic class so women are taking advantages of these opportunities working hard putting in the effort owning businesses and quite frankly many women are opting out of the idea that it doesn't matter what you do you have to have a man mm-hmm. women women are seeing that you do not have to have a man not even to have children yeah you, don't have, you, can, you, you can literally have it all without a man. man. You can get, you see, women are buying toys. Befriending Do you other get, women. You yeah, get. women are literally becoming, you know, same se- uh, uh, engaging in same sex relationships, even though they might not be, let's say, inclined to do yeah. so. Yeah. You know, there are women buying dogs, pets, like if I want companionship, I yeah. have my dog. For sex, there, there's, there are sex toys. Sex toys. So women are, they don't even mind engaging in casual sex just yeah. to fulfill their needs but and the whole having to build your life with and around a man, man is, is becoming an option that does not get chosen and because of that the resentment is building so now men, men men are upset and it does the thing with men it doesn't occur to them to move with the changing times mm-hmm. they want to go back to a hundred years back mm-hmm. 200 years back when women couldn't leave men you know they, they always say what happened to marriages of Oh, well, your grandmother could not leave your grandfather. I mean, duh. If you couldn't leave, if you couldn't own, open a bank account, if you couldn't own property, if you couldn't drive without a man, of course you're going to be stuck in the marriage. Definitely. If you were getting married at 15, 16, 17, 18, without at least exploring your life, that man is going to be all you know. Mm-hmm. But like things have changed. It's like men do not want things to change. Obviously. So they are they are resentful. Like sometimes when you when you interact with men on social media, you can feel the resentment in them. Like mm-hmm. how dare you people? Men want to be needed by women so much. And now that it is not happening, you they don't are not need is, 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 I know when we say like, oh this family that says you don't need a man. But for real, you do not need a man. A man is not air. Read my lips. You, you don't do not need, need a man. man. For I, anything, <laughs> you can want a man. I mean, you can be in love and you want to spend the rest of your life with him. Cool, that's a choice. But like, even if you, 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 he doesn't exist, you're not going to die. Have you ever heard that any woman died from not having a man? If no women die from entangling themselves with men. Definitely. More women and, died from heartbreak. From being killed by a husband. Being killed by the Have husband. you seen the statistics on intimate partner violence? Yeah. Have you seen? Mm-hmm. So, like, it's, I know it sounds harsh to say, but yeah, you really, and women are living that reality today. And you it's do one of the not reasons. need a man for shit. And it's one of the reasons why, why this is so. It's, so, it's, it's, it's based on male resentment. And I don't know, I, I think the patriarchy is so devious because it's like it projects all of the hateful things that men do on women men are hateful people really 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 hateful like i don't know how to say it hateful people and they project a lot of that that they are there and do you notice how insecure men are when they don't have a woman to control 
to sleep with. It's like they don't think they can be whole on their own unless they are dominating. But the women. funny thing is when they sell this dream, they make it look as like women. It's are women the who are the ones who do who feel incomplete without men. But that's not true. When it's actually the other way around. So hmm? this 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 whole thing now makes them so angry. Resentful, angry, hurt. And I, I saw some statistics that say that millennials, which is most people of our generation, are having lesser sex than people of the past generation. So mind you, this not having as much sex is is uh, it affects everybody, Both male and female. And I, I personally I know it's true. We were, we are not having as much sex as people of the previous generation. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of things are, are causing this. Sometimes the economy, uh, uh, right? Social media, mm -hmm. uh, people's uh, personal interaction has reduced drastically. Mm -hmm. You know, people are not meeting people outside. Like we've been mm -hmm. stuck in this house for how many days? Mm -hmm. going out. Do you get? Or like before, where you have to? I mean, for you to have sex with someone, you at least you have, have to, to go out, you yeah, have to them, interact. Things. So, mind you, this is a problem that women are also having. But women are not forming violent communities to look for sex. You just manage it on your own. Mm -hmm. You get sex toys if you can't masturbate. You know, or you do other things. And the way the society treats this topic, they only talk about men. Oh, men of social so, so and so ages are having less sex. And I'm like, yeah, if men, if those amount of men are not having sex, that is uh, correspondingly, women are, women not, are not having How come this is not a problem? Why are you people not talking about it? Why are you not pathologizing it like for the women why are you making it like it's a big deal it's not you know, then the rise of incels men who are not okay they will say first of all they, they will link it to economy because they are not uh, they don't have good jobs they, they don't have like it's like men are just babies like is it did we come to this one at the, at the end of do the I have which job who is giving us the job at the end of the day when when everything is said and done women are sitting down and, and like uh, is this my only option no you know and and instead of men to be like okay step up because it's not like yeah. you're bringing, it's, it's not like you're bringing money the women also Bring women money. are they also working so instead of you to say okay let me step up okay she wants a better person okay let me be a better person okay i'm i'm iffy i'm not smelling well okay let me let me take care of my problem it, it's probably from me Instead of them to do something and take care of this problem and try to meet up the maybe the woman is here and they are here. Yeah. Instead of them to meet up there, they're like here whining. No, I want sex. Why you must come I, down here. You and must meet come me. down here and meet me. <laughs> why, why can't I have sex? I'm an insect. At this level. <laughs> and <laughs> why why should anybody do that? I mean, think it's about the it. Entitlement of it all. Yeah. It's the entitlement and you know the irrational anger, irrational. When you see this insult talk, you you will feel that they were like women were promised them to them yeah and then the women were uh, maybe they paid for a woman and the woman said okay i know one fuck you no 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 no. these are men that who by the themselves maybe by their characters or by the way they portray themselves cannot make meaningful relationships that can lead to sex and because of that or maybe they did before and they lost it or maybe they someone broke their heart and because of that they turned into full monster and it the sad thing is they are going viral their the, their community is getting bigger but thankfully our community is also getting bigger yeah so for every action there is an equal and, and opposite reaction, reaction. Thank so let you, us Michi. all unite <laughs> and fight these incels these people are crazy and sometimes i feel some of the the incel activities a lot of men right, a lot of our traditional societies are the incel like in, yeah the other time i listened to this man tdj mm. this from a popular American preacher. And what he was talking about was just sound like things I hear on podcasts where they say, hey, if you're a woman and you earn so and so money, that makes you less feminine. You know, that's another insult talking mm. point. Yeah, yeah. It makes you masculine. Ah. So you should be feminine by reducing yourself, doing this. And he's preaching divine femininity. That exactly. meaning, meaning, meaning. These are all offshoots of misogyny. Yeah. People hate women and they want women to minimize themselves as much as possible for the pleasure of men. Let me That's ask it. you a question. How do you now, if the women who watch the show, yeah. and maybe for the one or two men who watch it, how do you um, identify incels or incel behavior in a man? Let's say you're on a talking stage mm -hmm. with a man, or maybe you're even dating a man. Mm -hmm. How do you identify this that this person, hey, this is a red flag, you have incel behavior, incel like Yeah, this. I think incel behaviors are uh, uh, things you should look out for in your red flags when you're talking with a man. Men who have um, specific ideas of 
what women should do. And these ideas, when you think about it, are always ideas that get you to minimize yourself mm -hmm. so that you do not threaten this ego. Mm -hmm. That is in cell behavior. Mm -hmm. Men who have ideas about body counts, mm -hmm. in cells are very, very upset about women sleeping with other men. Mm -hmm. It, it annoys them that you sleep that you sleep with other men, but they, not them. Not them. Oh, they want you to sleep with them. Mm -hmm. Let's get Which that one crazy. Safe. Yeah. When I say that men are the most illogical of God's creation, it sounds like very illogical thought. So I think like uh, if you're meeting a man and he starts talking about body count, women are sluts, ling, men ling, are hoes, red bone. You know, the problem with you women is that you like to feel special. Mm -hmm. You want to feel like, oh, all women are hoes except for me. Mm. Babe, you are a whore to, to him. That's so right. I feel like these are easiest things you can notice when it comes to men who listen or who has internalized in cell talking point. Because yeah. why I said it internalized in cell talking point, this man probably has had one or two sexual relationships with other women. Mm -hmm. So he's not uh, uh, the... the, the definition of incel itself mm -hmm. but he has internalized those talking points so he is also an incel without being celibate another another um maybe way you can if, if they feel entitled to sex yeah you know those men that maybe they take you out once twice mm -hmm. and then next time you know they are talking of you know mm -hmm. oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah oh yeah 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 give let, it let, to me, yeah. Oh, me. and then they feel like you're doing them a like some harm, such a big harm by not having sex with, with them. them. Run, run. That's in self behavior. Mawa. These are the kind of men that even yeah. when they eventually get married, they rape their wife. Yeah. There's nothing like I'm too tired. No. I'm too tired. I see such posts. Maybe when they send Ruby from my inbox. Yeah. Like, ah. And sometimes I don't even want to. But he he, he has this way. If I just say he rapes, he raped you or he rapes you, and this is in self behavior. When they yeah. feel entitled to your body, for maybe. They, they bought you uh, tombo and uh, the pepe soup. When you see a man who feels entitled to a woman's body, woman's time, a woman's space, I want to come to your house and let me come to your house. What are you being alone? Da, 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 da. You have to run. Don't yeah. just wait. If you if you keep waiting for the misogynistic signs, you might miss them. But once it has to do with incel, like it's around, it goes around sex, around your body, around you minimizing yourself. You should not be able to miss that. And once you see something like that. Is your cute to me and incels like to reinforce purity culture for yeah. women in our process they also want you to fuck them they also want you to be this pure i think it stems from the whole men madonna hawk complex yeah. that they have so like there's a lot of things you have to look out for actually and i i, I feel like these incels they are not hiding anymore yeah. so it's not a matter of you don't know check if he has Twitter, you can check his Twitter. They might not be as, they might not, uh, like, like for Nigerian men, they might not actively call themselves incels. Incels, yeah, but they won't. They, they won't. won't. They, they have other names like alpha males. Yeah, alpha males are incels. They are incels. That, that is another branch. Of yeah, this. yeah. That's the one that, that they are happy to claim. Yeah. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you mm -hmm. should be very, your eyes are supposed to open. Yeah. Because this is a, a very harmful offshoot of misogyny. Right. There are some yeah. people, there are some misogynists that, do a good job of hiding it masking it yeah, yeah mask it but i don't think incels do no 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 they don't you will know you will know they don't hide it as long as you're looking for it it's something that if you're looking for it you will find they don't they don't know how to hide it, hide it they, yeah. are, they are loud and wrong so when you see people like that it is your cue to leave don't don't, don't don't wait don't negotiate anything we don't negotiate with terrorists no, no, no. exactly they are, the, they are domestic terrorists. terrorists we don't negotiate with them we don't have we don't, this is not the kind of person you say, let, let me talk with him and no, see if he will change don't do that don't you're wasting your time you are love that. that room okay we, we also you're not love, love that you, yeah. too. love don't yourself do. please <laughs> it's not that. So I think that's about it today. Mm -hmm. I think we did justice to this. Yeah, we did, we did. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, comment. comment. And a hair sponsored As by usual, Hair Electra. Electra. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.